This is Unit 3, Risk Assessment. Facility technicians and scientists are doing risk assessments on a daily basis. This unit offers you an overview of a valuable safety tool. You're working in a facility where there are many hazards. Those who work more directly with them are assigned the task of doing risk assessments. These assessments uh, can follow many different methods or procedures, but the one we have here is a pretty tried and true. It's not that you'll need to do them, but uh, I wanted to offer you an overview of what will happen frequently to keep the facility safe, the scientists safe, and the public safe. This unit focuses on one of many methods of risk assessment, the IAM method. IAM is identify, assess, and manage. So within this method, hazard and risk take up different, different definitions. Hazards are conditions or practices with a potential of harm or loss or danger. Risk is the probability that that hazard will become active and cause the harm or loss. So an example of that might be um, a blizzard can be a hazardous situation. It can be dangerous, but the risk of it happening in July is low. So it doesn't make any sense to worry about blizzards in July. So let's do a practice risk assessment. In the picture on the left, it's easy to see where the tornadic hazards are. But if you live in Nevada, is there a risk? See, that's the way this IAM works. Look at the photo on the right. There could be many hazards, things falling from the ceiling, wires, ladders to fall over. How risky are those? Assessing is almost straightforward here. You can see the hazards, so how are you going to manage them? Should you simply ask, should I keep walking down this hall? Let's do another quick practice run. Uh, the picture on the left, what are the hazards there? Well, obviously you could lose your balance, fall, or the winds could pick up, how likely are those to become problematic? Well, likely enough that extra safety measures have been taken. See, the gentlemen have um, safety harnesses on. There are wires and cables holding that beam in place. But look at the picture on the right. This is a likely scene in your building. These folks have considered the hazards they're working with and how likely these hazards are to become problems. They've taken several precautionary steps to protect themselves, like they're working in that cabinet. Um, they're wearing several layers of safety gear. They're using safe practices. What I'm saying here is that they've done a good risk assessment. This is how we keep everyone safe while working with very dangerous hazards. Do you know how to assess other safety situations in areas beyond your work area? Well, there's a safety manual. You should know where it is and become generally familiar with what it says. Know who the safety officer in your building is. It's their job to know what work is being done and how to keep everyone safe and to answer your concerns.